So I finally got the chance to sit down with Amanda Galle. She had a very convincing win here tonight. Her footwork was unbelievable. Her movement was unbelievable. And this woman, the way you saw her perform tonight, you would not think that only back in July of this year, she suffered a broken hand and still managed to have a very busy year in the ring. Amanda, how are you feeling after that? I'm feeling great. I'm uh, hardly sweating. Um, someone said I was wet. I said, no, that's Vaseline because <laughs> I didn't get a chance to sweat here tonight. Um, you know, the training camp, obviously every fight leading up to a fight is the hardest part, but tonight, um, it was a super easy night. I'll take it. You know, there's times where I have to work double, double time over. So if an easy win came tonight, then I'm just going to accept it and, and, and move on and move forward and look to 2023. I mean, to be fair, you still had to work tonight because, um, you know, your opponent did hit hard at times, but your your superior fitness and your work rate just really out, 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 outperformed the other performer. I wouldn't say it was an easy win. I would say that you, obviously, even after a tough year, you've managed to come back even stronger. Yes, I mean, going into the fight, you know, you, you, you study your opponents. Um, I hate watching uh, my opposition prior to fights. It just, it brings on, you know, nerves that yeah. are unnecessary. But I did watch her finally today, and going in, I knew she dropped a big overhand right um so i needed to take that away from her i you know st said that i would jab more to her her uh right right shoulder to stop her from throwing that and also move to my right because it would take away you know the ability of you know me walking into the shot um i knew from watching her in the media workout yesterday and uh she shadow boxed she was a little bit slow um i have a tendency that not that I ever get overconfident, but what happens is, is when I go into a fight and I mirror my opposition's yeah. uh, pace, it, it's actually worse for me. So if I don't start at my pace or my game, it brings me down a level. So I had to go in tonight, even though I knew she was slow, I had to go in with with my uh, approach and pace. And, and if she could level up, good for her. And if she couldn't, at least I brought that to the table. That being said, I didn't want to go in too rushed because she was shorter. I didn't want to walk into a stupid headbutt or get cut unnecessarily. So I found a happy medium to start off with. Yeah. And I think I did that well. Uh, warming up, my legs felt phenomenal. I was very, very relaxed. It was almost like I wanted to slap myself a couple of times because I was too relaxed for my liking. We just, saw that in the ring too. Yeah, just no it. nerves. And yeah. I don't know if it's because I did have my legs under me that I just felt extra. I just felt really good. I'm not going to say confident mentally, but I just physically felt great. And that was like the, the foundation for my approach mentally. There was a nice send off for your mom here tonight too. And I feel like your mom would have been guiding you through that as well. It's been a tough year for you. Is there anything you would like to uh, mention about that? I know yeah, it's, it's not I mean, been easy. Back in March, uh, my mom passed away two weeks after uh, me winning uh, the Canadian title. And I just resort back to the fact that if I, I fought under those circumstances with that emotional, mental strain, because I was her primary caregiver and uh, we kept her at home because of COVID and all the rules associated with the hospital. If I can fight under that and, 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 and all the stuff that was, you know, in my surroundings at that point, then I can fight under any circumstances. So walking out to the ring tonight, I said, you know, all the hard stuff is behind me. The hardest times in my life are, you know, behind me, you know, emotionally. I'm sure I'm going to deal with other things ahead, but if I can do that, tonight's easy work. So I, I just, uh, you know, referred back to that and said to myself, I got this. Amanda, I think for yourself, been through the year you were through with, uh, with your, your dear mom in your hand. I think you've had a pretty successful year. Um, I know that you're content yourself, even with all the, the shortcomings that's happened. What's your plan for next year? Yeah, I want to give a massive shout out to Lee Baxter and uh, DeBella Entertain Entertainment. They uh, both co-promote me and they've just kept me busy this year. I've got, had four fights in 13 months. I was fortunate enough to get one during uh, COVID um, in November, um, my first one 13 months ago, and I've had four. You would never know I broke my hand because, you know, there's a layoff, an eight-week layoff. I was casted for four, couldn't hit the bag or spar for another four after that eight, nine weeks. The fact that I had four fights in 13 months with an injury, that's you know, amazing. So uh, I want to give them uh, gratitude and uh, I'm excited for 2023. We're looking to uh, start off with an IBO or an IBF title and uh, Lee Baxter is trying to bring that here in Canada. So, um, you know, that's kind of planned for uh, mid-March. Um, so I'm not going to, you know, talk more further than that. That's that's the next step from here on in. Uh, today was a test of my hand, obviously, as well. We wanted to uh, just test it out after the break, see how I feel. It's been... Uh, feeling great and sparring leading up but you we get that extra gauze when I'm sparring here in Ontario we're limited to, to, to that one gauze that one wrap so I wanted to see how it would feel under 
you know, one gauze and a way smaller glove and it, it held up well. I mean, I wish I did more rounds to, to, to see, but listen, if it was an early night and, and that is helping my hand heal a little bit over the holidays yeah. a little bit more, then I'll take it. With a nice W in between. Yes. Amanda, it's been an absolute pleasure meeting you. Thank you, you guys. Uh, we wish you all the best for yeah, next year. Thank you guys thank for you. having me. I'll see you guys around.